this is cool. <laughs> I feel like I just won an Oscar. I, I actually, I am an actress. <laughs> I feel like I had so many questions, but so many of them got answered. Faith, or the belief factor, speeds things up, right? <laughs> well, yes, it speeds things up, but it's essential to any movement, because doubt slows and faith speeds. So, at the speed that something is coming into your life, is, is it kind of an indicator of how much faith or belief you have? Yes, or how little resistance you have. Right. Or how good you feel. Okay. That's why we were playing this little game as you were coming up, that sometimes when you're thinking about what you're thinking, you don't feel good. But when you're just feeling good, then we don't have to call it faith or doubt. There's just absence of resistance. So faith is a feeling that indicates no resistance. Doubt is a feeling that indicates resistance. So what you do, you just keep massaging your thoughts and experiences until you feel faith. Right. But for example, so do you think it is of greater benefit to believe that there's an ocean full of whales that are ready to come and play with you or to believe that what you want has never happened before? To believe in the rareness of something, does that make you feel more expectant? Or to believe in the plentifulness of something? The plentifulness. And to believe in the certainty of something, does that feel more powerful than to believe in the uncertainty of something? So when you're looking for evidence of plenty, but you find evidence of shortage, then you might want to stop looking. Because... You mean to look for evidence of plenty, but what you find is evidence of shortage, and so that makes you not expectant when what you want to be is expectant. Did you kind of follow that through? We would like it if the naturalist would say, the ocean is full of whales and they're all eager to show themselves to you, and a whole lot more of you would see them than if they say, we've never before seen this before. That's the thing about the Academy Award. It seems more rare. But joyful actors, if they're not dependent upon the Academy Award, there are so many powerful, beautiful, joyful actors who don't have the award. Some don't want it. It's irrelevant. You see what we're getting at? So you want to do whatever you're doing by massaging your thoughts and feelings until you've got yourself in a satisfied feeling place. Satisfying to say... I'm on my way to something, or to say, I'm never going to get there? Or is it more satisfying to say, hardly anybody ever does that, or to say, anybody who really wants to can have it? Is it more satisfying to say, there's ease in this, or I'm on the trail of it, or my inner being knows how to lead me there, than to say, almost nobody really gets there? Is it more satisfying to say, it's a really hard struggle, and I'm going to have to pay a big price, and I'm going to have to deprive myself of family and friends and a lot of things in order to get there? Or is it more satisfying to say, I, I can be led on the most joyful of paths, and I can intertwine all of the things that are important to me into this? You see what we're getting at? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How much do other people have an influence? Uh, like, Because I know you have your vibration, everyone out there. Is well, as much as you listen to them. In other words, you have to sort of decide how much influence you want them to have. And sometimes there are people who are very promoting of you or very appreciative of you. And so when you listen to them, it does feel satisfying. But it's sort of like what we were playing with you just a little bit ago. If you're looking into an environment where there's a lot of thought about it and the consensus of thought about it goes this way, leans against you rather than for you, you're better off not to even step into that pool of thought. People can only influence you to the degree that you pay attention to what you think they think. You don't know what they think. You're making it up in your own mind what they think anyway. We've been listening to you all over the ship. Hardly any of you are saying to anybody hardly anything close to what you really mean. <laughs> You're using words, and you might be sort of in the vicinity, but there's far more miscommunication going on with words than there is communication. Your words just aren't cutting it. Your words are not conveying clearly. Your words are distortion, 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 distortion. So if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would say to someone who has a lot to say to you, I enjoy the sound of your voice, but I'm really not paying attention to very much of what you have to say. So there is no actual frequency of like, if, like if 
someone was thinking a bad thought about me, but I wasn't paying attention to them. It doesn't influence my... Not at all. And the thing is, if someone in their disconnection is focused upon you while they're feeling bad, then there is the potential of hooking you in because you are part of the subject. But if your vibration is in this receiving mode and their transmission is in this broadcasting mode, you won't pick up on them. And if you do pick up on them, it lets you know you're in the same vicinity that they were. That's why meditation is such a productive thing to do at the beginning of the day, because it tunes you to who you're going to rendezvous with. You will not rendezvous with negative thinkers unless you are one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And every audition I, or every role I've ever booked, I've always had a meditative experience in preparation beforehand. And I always know when I'm going to book it because you can feel it. I don't have to wait for the call. You can just, you just kind of know. And what's nice about that is that doesn't mean that you could meditate yourself into getting every single one of them because every single one of them isn't what you really want. You meditate yourself into being ready for the ones you really do want. And those, the impulses will be very strong. That's what we like it when you say, I knew. Knowing is complete absence of resistance. Believing still has a little resistance in it. Hoping has a little more resistance in it. Doubting has a whole lot of resistance in it. So if you doubt, lots of resistance. If you hope, a little less resistance. If you believe, a little less resistance. But when you know, no resistance. Yes. So back to the faith belief, I should just change that out with, I know. Say again? And the first thing I talked about with faith and belief, speeding things up, it's a knowledge that really speeds things up. It is, up. but you see, saying the words, the words don't matter. We're just tying words in with vibrational states of being. So if you've got doubt and you say, I know, it doesn't make any difference because you can't fake it till you make it. Just saying the word doesn't change anything. In fact, it sort of holds you in resistance. So you're better off to say, I'm doubting this, but I want to know it. I'm doubting this, but I want to know it. And I have known when I've known it. And I'm not feeling it here yet. But if there's something to feel, I'll get it. And if it's right for me, it'll fall into place. And if it isn't right, that's okay. And plenty is right because there are so many whales in the sea ready to show me their tails. Yes. And you were talking about communication. And this, this last year, I've been kind of uh, stepping into my voice more. Uh, I kind of have been or grew up more timid and not speaking up because I... I prefer Be peace over speaking up for maybe myself. And well, because here's the thing. You don't trust other people to be supportive of you. And none of you should. Because it's not anybody else's job to hold you as their object of attention while they're in alignment. It's a nice thing when they're doing it, but it makes you dependent upon something that isn't... We want you to care about aligning with your inner being who is always there and not try to rope other people into believing in you. Your audiences are not only devoted to you. They have all kinds of reasons that they're there enjoying you. There are so many levels and pieces of cooperative components in your vortex. And to try to sort them out would just make you crazy. But if you just trust that they're all there and that the satisfaction factor is enormous and then you just follow your path as best you can to the things that feel the best for you. And here's a really key phrase that will serve you. If you can bring yourself to a place of really not caring what anyone's reception of you is and what you are caring about is your own satisfaction factor. When you go for the audition or you go for the interview or you go for the reading or you're just reading the pieces to see and you're reaching for that feeling of satisfaction for yourself. Now you've eliminated so many levels of resistance that were potentially there for you. You connect completely with who you really are and what you know. And the experience is so satisfying that anybody in the vicinity is going to come into vibrational alignment with you, you see. And if they're not in the vicinity, you don't want to play with them anyway. If you are completely reaching for your satisfaction. So that what you mean is, I came because I wanted to be here. And I participated and I had the best time ever. And that's enough for me. Nothing else has to come from this. I followed my impulse and it was a good one. And I did my thing and I loved doing it. Thank you so much for letting me play here with you. And you really mean that you are not caring about what comes next, that the outcome is irrelevant, that the process was enough for you. 
you'll be in such high demand because creative people know this. Creative people know that that's where you got to be in order to be where they need you to be even in the performance, you see. I can attest to the fact that shooting a film is much more fun than watching the film. <laughs> The final product, or, or yeah. just actually doing it. And we'd like to say that getting ready to shoot it is more fun than shooting it. And getting ready for that is more fun than that. In other words, every phase of it can be so much fun. This phase of it, we're talking in very general terms, and isn't it fun? In other words, there's no specific film and there are no specific things that are happening in regard to the manifestation of it. But you can feel the clarity of your own inner being and what your inner being knows about you and the unlimited potential that is yours. And isn't it fun to know all of that even without experiencing the specifics of it? And then staying there in this satisfying mode, knowing it and speaking this and feeling this way, and then something coming and that feeling of titillation as you think, oh, maybe this could be something, and that feeling of excitement and that feeling of more being called through you and discovering yourself in a whole new mindset where you're playing a different character or a whole different thing than you've ever done before and finding different things being pulled from the depths of you and more satisfaction for you as you nail it for you, not as you dance the dance that somebody else is wanting you to dance, and then recognizing the influence that you have on them, that they're not controlling you into their influence, that you are inspired because your inner being knows what they're really reaching for, and their direction and the things that they're saying to you isn't going to get you or anybody else there. But you've made an end run around their direction. You went right to their inner being who's directing them, and suddenly they're having an experience with you that they don't even know how they got there with you because you went directly to source and found it, you see. That's fun. That's fun. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And those actors that do that, they'll tell you, I don't know where it came from. In other words, they know that it wasn't an influence from someone. It wasn't someone setting the scene or trying to explain your character to you or to try to explain your emotional state of being so much that that just came from you. It was bigger than that. It was way bigger than that. Always, and there's a distinct difference yeah. between when it's working and when it's not. Yeah. You feel it. Yeah. Thank difference you. between knowing. Yeah. Knowing and guessing. Yeah. If you have to guess, then go take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Enough? Yes, enough. Thank you. Really good.